Hey everyone, it is Paul and Amber with Living the Do Life and we are getting hooked up and ready to go for our first road trip in, what, four months since we have had COVID. And here's Paul, we have two grandkids in the car and this is also Poppy Joe, our new puppy's first road trip. We got two boys that are coming with us. And then of course, there's Jaxie in his car seat. He's a little nervous. This is our first trip in a while, so we have to all get back into the hang of it. Y'all have your, your road snacks? Yep. Okay. Uh, no wheel chocks still on? No. No, double check, <laughs> triple check, and quadro check. <laughs> all done, ready to roll. brought that little bit of fake grass right there because uh, she has not had all of her shots until she's 14 months old so we can't put her on the ground so to potty train her we just bought that little piece of fake grass what are you doing over there pop pop what are you doing over there pop pop brother's awful big isn't he give me a poppy to pop give me a puppy to pop <laughs> done this in a long time but we're putting up our solar lights outside we haven't done that because at our new homestead we have permanent uh, solar lights on our uh, Airstream cover so <laughs> feels like we haven't done this for a while we're trying to remember what we do it's taken us a lot longer to set up camp than we normally do the kids have a game set up they're playing we are that close to the water Paul has some hot dogs on the grill. And because uh, Poppy Joe cannot touch the ground, we have brought one of those big little swimming pools so she can play in there. Pop, pop, Poppy Joe. Hi, baby. So everything is absolutely so new to her and um, we're just trying to be really careful not to overwhelm her. So she's used to the pool. We have that at home. She, she's used to the little pee pee grass and she's used to her kennel in the Airstream. We have all those things. The only thing different for her is the car ride. So there's an alligator right here. Oh my goodness. Let me show you. So, I'm not sure I want to fish here tonight. Pappy, who you got there? We got Pop Pop. Her first walk. <laughs> her first trip, her first walk. She doesn't know it yet, but she's a travel dog. That view, babe, isn't that pretty? I miss places like this. What are you doing with Jaxie's tail? Good morning. Uh, you want to give her one big towel so you don't want to stop.
We're going to go take a look at the Education Center and get a magnet for the state park. So the Education Center is closed until Wednesday. Today's Monday, so we'll come back. But we saw this little library thing over here, so we're going to go see what that is. That's neat. So you can look at the different books, and if there's one you want to get, you can go ahead and get it. <laughs> We should go get our fishing stuff and come out and go fishing. Way better. Wow, look at this. Amazing. So we ran home and we got our fishing poles because there's nobody here at this pier and we came back. We couldn't bring Jaxie, but he barks too much, but we had to bring Poppy Joe because she's too small and I can't leave her alone that long. So we have her whole little setup here. I think we're gonna have some good fish. Look. You think so? Nice. Oh, guys. <laughs> So despite the gators, the kids and Paul are really enjoying fishing. Um, there ended up being one gator on one side of the pier and one gator on the other side. But um, as soon as they saw us making movement, they watched us for a little bit and then they swam off. So the kids are a little bit more comfortable. Lantis is carrying a big stick, <laughs> but they went to go fish. Um, it's not super hot out. But she was panting a little bit, even with drinking water. So I'm just sitting in the truck for a little bit to allow her to really cool off. Um, Aussies have double coats, so they do get hot real easily. Right now we're walking one of the nature trails. Jaxie was not sure about walking across the bridge. Hey guys, be very um, observant of where you're walking, okay? Here's the big bridge. Look how pretty it is.
saw that red bird has already got it into our truck once when we had the windows down. And this afternoon when we got back from uh, walking the trails, we pulled up and dad's like, everybody roll your window up. And as soon as he rolled his window up and got fully backed in, the bird hit his uh, driver's side window, like in the front seat, trying to get in. This bird is obsessed with our truck. What you doing, babe? Backwards dishes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have water hookups here, so. Right, we got water hookups, but no sewer hookups. Yeah. Trying to save her tank for a little bit. Doing it this way, which is totally fine. We don't want to fill up our tank. And we had the boys. They're back here fishing. We are going to go over here to the water and look at the sun. It's setting and it's red. It's beautiful. But I'm, I've got to get on the other side of these trees before it goes down. That was pretty, wasn't it? Good morning, friends. It is the next day and we got the dogs fed and taken out. Um, Poppy Joe is doing really good. She just barks a little bit when she wants to go to the bathroom. We set her on that fake grass and she goes. Her and Jaxie have a lot of playtime in the morning. Paul is over here making breakfast, cooking up some pancakes and sausage. Good morning, babe. Good morning. My help went fishing instead. <laughs> Left you cooking, huh? Let's see what the boys are doing. Um, even though we've seen alligators, after the initial shock the next day, they're very easy to spot. And so we're letting the boys fish out here using fake worms. And that's what they're doing this morning. And they're having a really good time. It's really been a great camping trip. Keegan, have you caught it up in the tree again? Yep, just a second ago, right there. <laughs> Gotta fling it sideways, not, not straight up and down. Have y'all seen any more alligators? Yes, ma'am. Really? This morning, just one. Just one? They don't, they're not getting too close, right? Okay. Yeah. Are y'all having fun? Yes, ma'am. Lantis, why did you say that you couldn't sleep this morning? I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad y'all are having fun. The weather in the morning is really nice, and the weather in the late, late afternoon early evening is nice but man it's hot during the day did you have his tail again <laughs> jaxi she likes your tail So it's later in the day, it's about almost five o'clock and we are taking a different trail than we took yesterday at the Martin Dice Junior State Park. Um, earlier today, we ran into Jasper, Texas, which is about 10 miles away and picked up a few things just to get out. And we left Poppy in the AC because we're not gonna be here too long. She's got water in her kennel, and we have Jaxi, who is very happy to be going on another hike. The trails are really wide, unlike yesterday where they were narrow. What is that? <laughs> you know, I love the state parks, but we're letting Paul and Jaxi go first and lead the way. Make sure there's no snakes on the path. I'm sure Jaxie would alert if he saw something, so. I did 
pick up a walking stick from the state park uh, store. We could have made one real quick and we have talked about doing that, but it was just easier to get one to be a little bit more helpful uh, for me on these walks uh, that's already been treated especially. And it's a good one, one very expensive. So I think what, we're, we're, what we are gonna do for now is we're gonna take one trip a month for a week or two, mm -hmm. just go where we're at and then stay put and then go back to our home base and then take another trip. So that's what we're gonna do because gas prices are ridiculous. It would certainly be costing us a fortune right now if we were on the original route we had planned before we got COVID. We probably would have been difficult to afford the gas on that trip. So we're where we need to be. I don't remember seeing a fork in the road on that map. We're on Sandy Creek Trail. So where were we when we first started? We know we're gonna be walking about a couple of miles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's okay, Jaxie's loving it. So Keegan, tell us all of the animals that we've seen on this trip so far. So three armadillos. We saw one raccoon last night. Um, we have seen snakes and we've seen um, alligators. And crazy redbird. <laughs> yeah, the one that keeps trying to get in our truck. <laughs> it's literally trying to get in the window. Oh, a bridge. <sighs> Jaxie Boy doesn't like Sorry, bridges. Get that nervous. You, you yeah. starting to feel a little anxious? Well, don't. Because look, the slats are really close together. It's not like a suspension bridge or anything. Been for a long time. Yeah, y'all, y'all be looking for alligators, okay? Just stay right behind Pappy. I think this. Oh, this is. This is marsh. Like. What do you think, Jaxie boy? What do you think, Jaxie? That's a bridge, bridge, bridge door. Ooh, it's hot. Chair. Usually I'll on. try to jump to that. I really want that hollowed out log. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, 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 really won't eat. What do you think, Jaxie? Did you enjoy your water? So what's really helpful if you have dogs and are going uh, you know, on hikes like this where they're gonna get thirsty, um, this thing. They have it in different colors. I got it on Amazon. I don't know if y'all have seen this or not, but you literally turn it sideways and you push that little button and it'll fill up with water and they can drink from it. And we have used this, I just bought it and we've already used it at least five times with going fishing and being on the trails. The dogs get really hot. Um, even Poppy, when I'm carrying her, she gets really hot. So um, they both drink out of this and it's great. I think I'm gonna get one more just to keep in the truck and one to keep in the doggy first aid kit. Yes, I have a doggy first aid kit. <laughs> okay guys, what happened to Pappy's fishing pole? His reel broke. <laughs> Another one busted hers. <laughs> Poppy Joe and I are walking just right down the road here where Paul and the boys are fishing. 
their lines at our campsite keep getting caught up in like the water lilies plants. And so they just came right over here and are fishing. They got a bunch of worms, which I don't do. Jaxie's wondering why I didn't bring him, but I can't. He gets so excited on the trails, I can't really control him and try to hold her at the same time. So <laughs> he's in the house. He's adjusting well to her. He loves her. She stole his biscuit a little while ago, so I wasn't sure what he was going to do about that. He loves his biscuits. But he just let her have it. Beautiful. The sun is starting to go down. I know what you're talking about, though. It's really pretty out here. He caught it in a tree and was going to try to reach. Paul's like, no, 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 you're going to fall in the water. <laughs> Good morning. It is actually two days later since I filmed last. We didn't film at all yesterday. It was so hot outside. We tried to go to the education center, which the sign said it was open in the afternoon and they were closed. So we pretty much just hung around the house. They did go fishing yesterday, the boys, um, when it cooled down in the evening and used the rest of the worms that they had bought. But right now we're just packing up to go. We're almost ready. Except for the alligators, it was really nice having the lake right at our campsite. We just had to be careful and not fish at night. We couldn't fish at night, but it was nice. The boys enjoyed while we were working outside just to be able to go out and fish. It's a pretty good park. Well, we have had a great time at Martin Dyes Jr. State Park. That's a tongue twister, but we have to go. We got to get these kids back to their mama and daddy and get back to our homestead. We hope you like this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do. We love you guys and don't forget to live simply, dream big, and do life. Bye. Bye-bye.